The NYPD just confirmed 50 Cent ain't no rat. And y'all already know 50 has something to say about that. 50 Cent posted a video on his IG featuring Detective Courtney. In this video, Detective Courtney clears up some rumors about 50 Cent's supposed cooperation with the police. The detective said, 50 Cent never cooperated with anybody. And I would know if he did. I had the whole music industry investigation business locked down. I knew everybody who was talking to everybody. There's no way he corroborated. There you have it, straight from the horse's mouth. This detective had info on almost every rapper in the game during the late 90s and early 2000s. If anybody would know, it's him. Now to understand why this is such a big deal, we gotta take it back a little bit and unpack the layers of beef 50 Cent has had over the years, especially with people like Supreme McGriff, Jimmy Henchman, and World. As we all know, 50 Cent was shot nine times outside his grandmother's house in Queens. A lot of people believe that Supreme McGriff ordered the hit. Then you can't forget about 50's feud with Murder, Inc., founded by the Gotti brothers. And Supreme was an associate of the Gotti brothers. Then World was allegedly involved in a shooting targeted at 50 Cent at a New York hotel. Finally, when G Unit was beefing with the game, Jimmy Henchman was his manager. So that's where Jimmy Henchman comes into play. First, let's talk about Supreme McGriff. Supreme was a notorious figure in the New York drug scene and an associate of the Gotti brothers. It's rumored that he ordered the hit on 50 Cent that led to 50 being shot nine times in 2000. Despite that though, 50 still survived and went on to build an empire. Supreme's connection to Murder Inc. just made it worse because 50 Cent started beefing with Ja Rule and the Gotti brothers. This beef was about more than just music. It was personal and dangerous. Now let's talk some more about the Gotti brothers. Irv and Chris Gotti had Murder Inc which was home to Ja Rule, one of 50 Cent's biggest enemies. The Gotti brothers accused 50 of corroborating with the police, but as we heard from Detective Courtney, that was far from the truth. The Gotti brothers made some poor decisions that brought a lot of heat on them, including using easily traceable two-way pagers. Their beef with 50 had a lot of back and forth, both in music and in real life. Then there's Jimmy Henchman. The beef between 50 Cent and Jimmy Henchman got crazy after the game was dropped from G-Unit. Henchman managed the game and things got ugly. Henchman was later convicted of ordering the murder of G-Unit associate Lodi Mack. This beef was another layer of the violent and complex web of war 50 Cent found himself in. Despite all the drama, 50 kept rising and showing that he's not just a survivor, but a fighter. Y'all already know, 50 Cent didn't stay quiet after the detective's video. 50 went on IG and called out Supreme, Jimmy Henchman, and World. 50 said, see the facts always come out. I wasn't raised like that. I'm not in Prime, Killer Rat A Jimmy, or World's paperwork. Oh yeah, all roads lead to Shreveport. 50's message is clear. He's setting the record straight and taking shots at his enemies. This isn't just about defending his name. It's about proving that he's always been real and never needed to cooperate with the police to handle his business. So why is this important? For one, it solidifies 50 Cent's reputation in the streets and in the music industry. His credibility has always been a part of his brand. Being accused of being a snitch could have damaged that but now we know it's just not true. The lengths his enemies went to in trying to tarnish his image is insane. The beef between 50 and these people wasn't just petty squabbles. It was a fight for survival, respect, and dominance in the rap game. Now remember how I just told you that many people believe that Supreme put a hit out on 50 Cent? Well at one point, rap legend Nas was actually working with Supreme which made 50 Cent furious. 50 Cent even said he was about to get Nas until this one thing changed his mind. Click the video on the screen to find out more about that. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, 
and hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post. Peace.